Folks, are you ready to face the truth? Are you prepared for what's coming? It's not just about being ready. It's about being ahead of the game. In today's world, with everything going sideways, you've got to ask yourself, are you prepared to protect your family from the unthinkable? We're talking nuclear fallout, my friends. It's a real threat, more real than ever. I'm here to tell you, with all the chaos around us, it's not a matter of if, but when. Now, I'm not just any Joe off the street. I'm a prepper, a real one. And I've got the knowledge, the know-how, and the guts to face what's coming head on. And I'm here to share that with you, to get you as prepared as I am. So listen up, because what I'm about to tell you could very well save your life and the lives of your loved ones. First off, a fallout shelter. You've got one, right? If not, it's time to get serious. This isn't just some backyard project. This is your lifeline in the event of a nuclear blast. Radiation doesn't care about politics or your opinion. It'll take you out just the same. You need to be safe. For at least two weeks. But let's be real. Probably longer. The danger out there? It's not going away anytime soon. You venture out, you're taking your life into your hands. So what do you need in that shelter? Let me lay it out for you. 15 essentials that you cannot, I repeat, cannot go without. These aren't just nice to have. They're your ticket to survival. MP cloth here, number one on the list, the only barrier between your crucial electronics and complete utter disaster. Imagine this, a nuclear incident or a massive solar flare. These aren't just possibilities. They're becoming more and more likely every day. And when they hit, the electromagnetic pulses they unleash will devastate everything electronic that's critical for communication, safety, you name it. But here's the kicker. The EMP cloth, a miraculous invention engineered like nothing else to shield against every kind of electromagnetic wave out there. And guess what? Demand for this stuff is through the roof. It's flying off the shelves so fast it's barely in stock anymore. This is a clear signal, a big flashing warning sign that you need to act fast, secure yours before it's too late. Don't wait around thinking it'll always be available because let me tell you, it won't. If you're out there putting together a nuclear fallout shelter, and you should be, believe me, choosing what to safeguard in that shelter is critical. It's not just about stocking up, it's about smart, strategic planning. I've gone ahead and ensured each of the items mentioned, including the EMP cloth, is in my shelter. But don't just take my word for it. Think about what else you might need, tailored to your specific situation, your location. This is about being prepared, folks. About staying one step ahead. It's essential, believe me. Number two, folks, besides our huge water storage, and I mean, we've got a lot, the best water storage, we're also talking about this fantastic family-sized water filter. And it's not just that. Believe me, we've got these incredible small personal water filters, one for each and every family member. It's tremendous, really tremendous. Every family should have this setup. We're talking clean, pure water for everyone, anytime. It's just fantastic. If you're in the market for a top-notch water filter that's not your run-of-the-mill option, I've got just the recommendation. The Berkey water filter system is, without a doubt, a real game-changer. It's like the gold standard of water purification. These units are incredibly durable, efficient, and can purify both treated water and raw water from sources like remote lakes, streams, stagnant ponds, and water supplies in foreign countries where regulations may be subpar. The Berkey system can remove bacteria, viruses, chloramines, toxic chemicals, and even heavy metals like lead and mercury, all while keeping the essential minerals your body needs. It's pretty much the Swiss Army knife of water filters. Plus, it comes in various sizes to fit any family's needs, from the Travel Berkey, perfect for smaller families or solo adventures, to the Crown Berkey, which can handle the hydration needs of a small army. Not only does it provide you with clean and safe drinking water, but the taste is also phenomenal. Crisp, clean, and pure. It's a bit of an investment up front, but the cost per gallon over time is incredibly low, especially when you consider the quality of water it produces. It's a must-have for anyone serious about their water quality. Number three, you've got to be prepared, right? And when it comes to potassium iodide tablets, the key to being prepared is having enough. We're talking about stocking up on these lifesavers. I'd recommend, and listen closely because this is important, keeping at least a three-month supply for every person in your family. That's right, a full three-month supply. Why? Because you want to be ready for anything, absolutely anything. 
With enough potassium iodide tablets to last you at least 90 days, you're putting a big, beautiful safety net around your family's health. It's smart, it's necessary, and frankly, it's just common sense. Number four, and this, believe me, is something you haven't thought about, but you absolutely need. A robust, state-of-the-art communication system. I'm not talking about your everyday phones or internet. Those are going to be toast. I'm talking about a good, old-fashioned shortwave radio. And not just any radio. I mean the kind that can pick up signals from across the globe, even when everything else is down. This is huge, folks. Huge. Imagine this. You're in your shelter, and you need to know what's going on out there, in the real world. That's where this incredible piece of equipment comes in. With a shortwave radio, you can listen to broadcasts from anywhere, I mean anywhere, and stay informed about the situation outside your bunker. It's not just about entertainment. It's about being prepared, knowing when it's safe to come out, and what's happening globally. And let me tell you, these radios are built to last. They're tough. They can take a beating and keep on working. That's what you need in a situation like this. Plus, it's a great way to stay connected with other survivors. In times of crisis, information is as valuable as gold, maybe even more. Number five. And listen, this is absolutely critical. A huge game changer for any survival situation. A comprehensive medical kit. But I'm not talking about your run-of-the-mill band-aids and aspirin. No, you need the kind of kit that would make professional emergency responders nod in approval. This thing should be packed, and I mean packed, with advanced trauma supplies, antibiotics, painkillers, and prescription meds that you or your family might need. Think about it. In a real emergency, hospitals might be out of reach, doctors too busy or simply not available. That's when your high-end medical kit steps into the spotlight. It's not just a box of supplies. It's your lifeline. You want to be able to handle anything from a minor cut to a serious injury. And it's not just about having the kit. It's about knowing how to use it. I strongly suggest, and believe me, I don't suggest things lightly, that you get some basic medical training. There are courses out there, even online ones, that can give you the know-how to save a life. Number six, and folks, this one is huge, absolutely huge, a comprehensive seed bank. Now, I'm not just talking about a few packets of seeds from your local garden store. No, what you need is a wide-ranging collection of heirloom, non-GMO seeds for vegetables, fruits, and herbs that can provide sustainable food sources for years to come. This is big league, folks. Imagine the scenario. The world outside is in chaos, but inside your shelter, you've got the means to grow your own food. It's not just about survival. It's about maintaining a standard of living, ensuring you and your family can enjoy fresh, nutritious meals. It's about independence, self-sufficiency, and frankly, it's about security. A seed bank like this is a long-term investment in your future. We're talking about seeds that can be harvested and replanted year after year, providing a continuous food supply. And let's not forget the importance of variety, not only for nutritional balance, but for the joy of eating. A meal with fresh tomatoes, crisp lettuce, and aromatic herbs grown by your own hands? That's not just food. That's a feast. And here's the kicker. Learning to grow your own food isn't just practical. It's empowering. There's something incredibly satisfying about tending to your plants and watching them grow, knowing you're securing your family's food supply. It's about taking control in situations where control seems lost. Number seven. And this, believe me, is absolutely vital. Hazmat suits, goggles, and gas masks. You've seen the images, those iconic shots of folks stepping out of their shelters decked out in full protective gear. And you might think it's just for show, but let me tell you, it's not. It's about survival, about being smart and safe. When the time comes to step outside your fallout shelter, you want to be 100% certain that every inch of you is covered, protected from whatever's out there. We're talking about a world where the air you breathe, the ground you walk on, could be contaminated. You don't take risks with that. You cover up from head to toe. These hazmat suits, they're not just any old piece of clothing. They're engineered to provide a barrier between you and harmful substances. Add in goggles to protect your eyes, not just from contaminants, but from debris and potentially harmful light. And the gas mask? It's your lifeline, filtering out dangerous particles and gases, ensuring the air you breathe is as safe as it can be. Remember, folks, emerging too soon after a disaster without the right protection could be just as deadly as the disaster itself. 
you don't want to survive the initial event only to fall victim to its aftermath. That's why, even if it seems clear, you wait, you check, and you suit up before you step out. Safety first, always. Number eight. And folks, this is something that gets overlooked too often, but is absolutely essential for maintaining not just survival, but a semblance of normalcy. Sleeping items, including a cot, sleeping bag, blanket, and pillow for each person in your shelter. You might think, hey, in a survival situation, I can sleep anywhere. But let me tell you, good rest is crucial for staying alert, maintaining health, and keeping morale high. The genius of going with cots over traditional beds is all about versatility and space efficiency. These cots can be folded up, stashed away, giving you the flexibility to use your space for other needs during the day. At night, roll out your cot, unfurl that sleeping bag, and you've got yourself a comfortable place to rest your head. And don't underestimate the psychological boost of having a cozy blanket and a pillow. It's about more than just physical comfort. It's about feeling secure. Feeling like you're not just surviving, but living. In the harsh reality of a fallout scenario, these touches of normalcy, these reminders of life outside the shelter, they're invaluable. So yes, I recommend a cot, sleeping bag, blanket, and pillow for every person. It's a simple setup, but it's effective. It ensures that everyone can get the rest they need to face whatever challenges come next. And in the confines of a fallout shelter, where space is at a premium and stress levels can be high, ensuring everyone gets a good night's sleep is not just about comfort, it's about maintaining sanity and cohesion among your group. Number 9. Personal Documents I'm talking about the absolute must-haves. Birth certificates, passports, insurance papers, and anything that proves ownership of your assets. These aren't just pieces of paper. They're your ticket back into society, your proof of identity, and your claim to what's rightfully yours. Here's the deal. In the aftermath, when things start to settle down, you're going to need these documents to reclaim your life. Whether it's proving your identity, your ownership of property, or ensuring you can access services and support, these documents are key. And let me tell you, in times of chaos, having these organized and protected can set you miles ahead of the game. That's why I recommend storing them in a lockbox within your shelter. Why a lockbox? Because it adds that extra layer of security against water, fire, and frankly, any unwanted hands. It's about more than just keeping them safe. It's about ensuring they're there when you need them most, ready to help you get back on your feet. Number 10, and this is key for long-term resilience and mental health, entertainment and educational materials. We're talking about books, cards, board games, and even electronic devices loaded with ebooks and learning software, anything to keep your mind active and spirits high. In a situation where you might be confined for an extended period, these aren't just luxuries, they're necessities. Here's the thing. Survival is not just about the physical aspects, it's about maintaining your mental health too. Having a stash of entertainment and educational materials can provide a much needed escape a way to keep the brain engaged and a strategy to maintain a sense of normalcy in the face of adversity. It's about making sure that time spent in a shelter is not just time spent surviving, but time spent living. Imagine this, you're weeks into shelter life. The initial shock has worn off and now the days stretch out endlessly. That's when the books, the games, the learning opportunities become invaluable. They're not just passing the time, they're enriching your life keeping your mind sharp, and even bringing your family or group closer together. And for those with children, educational materials become even more critical, ensuring that kids continue learning and growing even in the most challenging circumstances. Number 11, and this one's about keeping you safe from unseen dangers, a dosimeter. This little device is crucial for monitoring radiation levels, letting you know exactly what you're dealing with before it poses a serious risk to your health. I recommend having at least two on hand along with an extra pack of batteries for each. It's all about redundancy and preparedness. Radiation is one of those threats you can't see, smell, or feel until it's already done significant harm. That's where a dosimeter comes in. It gives you the ability to measure exposure and make informed decisions about when and where it's safe to venture outside your shelter. It's about taking control of your safety, using technology to guard against invisible threats. And here's the thing. In a post-disaster scenario, information is power. Knowing the radiation levels outside your shelter can determine your next steps, 
whether it's safe to go looking for supplies or better to stay put. With a dosimeter, you're not guessing. You're making decisions based on hard data. Number 12, a high-quality multi-tool. In the compact form of one item, you're equipped with a variety of tools that can tackle numerous tasks and repairs in and around your shelter. I'm talking about a gadget that includes knives, pliers, screwdrivers, and more, all in one handheld tool. It's essential for quick fixes, crafting solutions, and overall adaptability in a survival situation. The value of a multi-tool cannot be overstated. In an environment where resources are limited and you might not have access to your full toolbox, this device becomes your go-to for maintaining your shelter, repairing equipment, or even preparing food. It embodies the principle of being prepared for anything. A high-quality multi-tool is designed to withstand tough conditions, which is exactly what you need in a fallout shelter scenario. It's about reliability, knowing that you have a tool that won't fail you when you need it most. Plus, its compact size means it won't take up much needed space in your shelter. Number 13, and this one's absolutely critical for long-term survival and resilience, renewable energy sources. Specifically, I'm talking about portable solar panels and hand crank generators. These are your lifelines for power when traditional sources are knocked out or unavailable. In a fallout shelter situation, having a sustainable way to generate your own electricity is not just smart, it's essential. Portable solar panels can harness the power of the sun to charge your essential electronics, like radios, dosimeters, and even small medical equipment. The beauty of solar power is its reliability and sustainability, providing you with a continuous energy source during daylight hours. And let's not forget the importance of being environmentally conscious, even in survival scenarios. On the other hand, hand crank generators are a godsend when sunlight is scarce or at night. They require some elbow grease, but the ability to generate power on demand, regardless of weather conditions, is invaluable. It's about having that backup, that guarantee of power, when you need it most. Together, these renewable energy sources ensure that you remain operational, informed, and safe. They empower you to maintain a level of normalcy, like lighting, communication, and the ability to power medical devices, which could be life-saving. Number 14. Long-term food supplies. This goes beyond the initial stockpile of canned and dry goods. We're talking about freeze-dried food and dehydrated meals that can last for years, even decades, without spoiling. In a scenario where the outside world might not be accessible for extended periods, having a dependable source of nutrition is not just important, it's critical. Freeze-dried and dehydrated foods have come a long way. They're packed in airtight, moisture-proof packaging, ensuring they remain fresh and nutritious for as long as possible. The variety is also impressive, from fruits and vegetables to meats and full meals. This ensures you can maintain a balanced diet, vital for health and morale in a sheltered environment. What makes these long-term food supplies so essential is their ease of preparation. Most require just a bit of water, sometimes even cold water will do, and you've got yourself a meal. This simplicity is invaluable when resources are scarce, and you need to conserve energy for other survival tasks. Number 15, shining a light on an often underestimated but fundamentally essential item, flashlights. Illumination is key in a fallout shelter where natural light can be non-existent. For those looking for a top recommendation, consider a high-powered, durable LED flashlight known for its long battery life and robust build. Having at least two of these large, powerful flashlights, along with a personal, smaller, yet efficient LED flashlight for each family member, ensures that everyone can navigate safely in the dark, manage tasks, and avoid accidents. It's about safety, security, and the psychological comfort that comes from being able to see your surroundings clearly and from a distance if necessary. The importance of including an extra pack of batteries for each flashlight, or even opting for models with rechargeable batteries that can be powered through your renewable energy sources, cannot be overstated. In a prolonged shelter stay, the value of reliable light sources increases exponentially. It's not just about having light for a few days, it's about ensuring continued visibility for the duration of your time in the shelter. This redundancy in preparation eliminates the risk of being left in the dark during critical moments, making a high-quality flashlight not just a tool, but a lifeline in the darkness. Thank you for watching.